We all hate it when our flight is delayed. But have you ever wondered that the missing wheel, oh, this is not working, that the missing wheel on your luggage might be the reason why your flight is delayed? You see, airports have this perpetual ongoing challenge called FOD, foreign object debris, which is any loose items and hardware that is dropped accidentally on the runway. FODs cause flight delays, they cause damages to aircrafts, and God forbid, sometimes they cause disasters. So today, airports are required by authorities to do FOD inspection at least four times a day. And the way they do it is manually, meaning somebody walks down the runway and looks for small screws. And trust me, for working as an airport manager for more than 10 years, walking down a 40,000 meter runway looking for screws is very inefficient. Now, some airports use uh, specialized vehicles or uh, sensors, uh, but they're very expensive and not that efficient which puts a huge gap in the marketplace. Our solution is drone as a service, which combines the agility of the drone and the accuracy of the sensor, giving a much more accurate uh, solution and putting us in the top right corner of the marketplace. So how does it work? The tower usually gives the control unit the go ahead to scan for FOD. They will deploy the drone, which will look for any objects and relay that information back to the control unit. and the dispatch will go and pick that up. Now, this takes about five minutes compared to 40 minutes in the traditional method. So the drone market is estimated at 127 billion, and the inspection alone is about 6 billion. And Turkey last year lost about $400 million because of FODs. Uh, we are already uh, in negotiation with the Civil Aviation Authority in Saudi Arabia, and we're doing the beta testing with our uh, prototype in Riyadh airports. So our projected revenue for the first year is about $500,000, and that will be through retainer contracts and licensing our software, what's in, what's in Mature is enough. Uh, our team has expertise in aviation, in product development, in drone operations, and in AI. And we already invested 150000 from our own money, and we were the winners in Taqaddam uh, Accelerator for 120000 and we're asking for 550 additional uh, uh, dollars. Thank you very much. So how safe is it? I mean, I think you get that question often, but... Uh, uh, there, is, there is a s specific criteria for airports that are safety and security, and we fulfill all of these requirements before we go. And how long does it take for you to agree with these airports to actually So the, 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 um, the barrier to entry in the aviation market is very high because there's a lot of regulation and there's not a lot of companies. So the negotiation takes about six months or so, but once you get in, you'll be uh, managing the whole airport that for FOD. the barrier, I guess. Yes. Other questions? Um, does, uh, do airports need to hire uh, any drone specialists to take care of this uh, technology, or can the existing employees take, take care of that? Uh, some airports have shown interest that they want to just outsource the whole thing, so our team will come with the equipment and the software and everything and just give them the, the, the whole operation. Some, air, some bigger airports are looking into training their own staff, which we can do for them as well. Other questions? Is the debris, sorry, I didn't get this, is the debris on the runway? Yes. And that's where you pick it up? Okay. Yes, runways, taxiways, all, all over. Okay, because yeah. that it gets kicked up into the engine somehow. Kicked up into the engine. Actually, uh, a lot of catastrophes have happened, and it's very, very common that, uh, I mean, 50% of your delays today, the technical delays, is because of FOD. Because when you have a runway, that uh, an airport that has only two runways, and you close one of them for 40 minutes, mm. then you're lo you lose 50% of your capacity right away. Mm. So there's no takeoff on landings from that runway that's being inspected. And you run the drone fleet and do the checking and all of yes. that yourself? Yes, actually it's one drone, it, it, it flies over in about three minutes. If it, uh, the camera detects anything, it will give you the exact geolocation, and then you will go pick it up right away. Can you estimate how long would it take for Istanbul Airport to find one little screw with that technology? <laughs> uh, very long, very long, yes, yes, yes. We're, we're targeting Istanbul Airport, actually. Um, so, yeah, walking, uh, the runways in the new Istanbul Airport are fairly large. It's about 
50 meters wide by 5,000 meters. And if you walk 5K looking for small screws... Dave, <laughs> but with your product, how, how long do you think it would take? Uh, in a runway that size, about five to seven minutes, depending on the wind. Five to seven minutes? Yes, compared to 50 minutes. So if you know somebody in Istanbul Airport, hook us up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Awesome. <laughs> Any last question? Quick question? All right. Cool. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. Congratulations.